Now, a story we started telling you yesterday at this time. Uh, the story is over for at least the time being because the Portland oncology nurse who tried to become the first person to swim around Savi Island, 38 miles in all, well, she came up just short of her goal. She stopped swimming overnight after swimming for 20 hours and 30 miles. Yeah, Cindy, uh, was it Warhane? I believe it was Cindy yeah. Warhane. She actually got out of the water and I figured, okay, she's going to go to sleep now. But no, she still stood up and she's talked to our photographer, Chad Dehart. Uh, she talked about some of the challenges she says she faced while in the water. It started out really great. We entered into uh, around the tip of the island and down into the Multnomah Channel, but the current was way stronger than we anticipated. At times we were only moving one mile an hour um, when my average is usually two. So that was pretty significant. All right, she said her shoulders were super tired. They were super sore. Uh, right there in the moments when she decided to stop, she just felt like she had to do so. So the water temperature also dropped overnight. She said she was shivering during the final two and a half hours of her swim. We asked if she's gonna try it again. She says she doesn't know yet. Yeah, let her sleep for a yeah. second and then we'll ask her. Like, Grab a, a beer, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> eat some food, <laughs> then think about it. You wanna yeah. ask that I question? Can't imagine the arms. Yeah, but how could you figure that out? You know what, uh, I don't know. I have no yeah. idea. How well, could you, know, you get back Well, you know, some people in? do these extraordinary things. They're like, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna try, but yeah. I would be a little more cautious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I peaked. That was it. <laughs> That's right. That's good enough. That wasn't good enough to heck with you. Yeah. Here mad we respect. She's awesome. <laughs> she is.